Okay, I just wanted to quickly show my process that I go through when I'm doing acrylic mirror of the image. Make sure you do that. All right, what I do is this outside line, which is going to be my cut line. Before I set my like for my cut, normally I would have a 12 speed and a 60 power. But what I do is change this line and turn it down to whatever speed and power is going to cut my paper off. It don't matter if it goes a bit deep because it's going to be where the line's cutting anyway. So, yeah, I've just got that set for 218. I've got air assist on. And that should be enough to remove the paper. So that's what I'll do first. So I've got select uh, cut selected graphics on down the bottom here. Yeah, send it over to the laser and then I'll pick it back up there. Make sure that the bed's low enough in the frame. Yeah, you can see that's good for me. Alright, and now you just want to make sure that this don't move when you pull the paper off really. I could have put a few of these in, as long as you keep a good pressure down on it. You can do it without it moving. Okay. Okay, now that's cut off. I'm going to change this back to my actual cut settings to cut right the way through, which for me, 12 speed, 60 power. I'm just going to put 60 maximum and minimum. Air assist is on. My stands are a little, uh, my light stands are a little bit narrow, so I have to etch some off the bottom here. So you probably won't have to do that if you've got the right size. And then for my fill settings, I just do 400 speed at 10 power. You can really keep the power low, and I'll show you, like, it stays nice and clean. But 400 speed, 10 power. And 254 lines per inch. If you look at my lines per inch video, you can see most of the time there's not much point in going past that. But I'll show you how this comes out. Um, yeah, fill all shapes at once. So that is correct. That's how I'm going to send it. 10 maximum, 0 minimum, and a 400 speed. So now I've got to select over the whole lot. Say send. And I'll pick it back up over there again. Okay, back at the laser, and now file, enter, it should be the full thing, yep, there's the etching. You see? And that's just finished there, but being 10% you can see down the bottom, I had to turn the power up because I've got to remove some like thickness there to fill it in my stand. But up you can see where the 10 power, it already is not too bad. I'm going to open this up and get a better look. Alright, I still ain't touched it, I'm just going to wipe this top layer off a little bit. So it just brightens it up a little bit more when you do that. Yeah, that's how it comes out with a lower power. And not only that, your laser stays much cleaner because you're not just blasting off a load of extra acrylic that you don't need to really. Like, you only need to just touch the surface. So, yeah, 10 power. It's plenty for me, and I'll show this when it's lit up. I'm just going to give it a wipe off and put it in the stand. I'll show it lit up. Hopefully you can see there, it comes out nice and clear, that's just giving it that little wipe over the cloth, the bottom I had to wipe more because I'd etched more off, but yep, just wanted to let anyone know, that's, I have a Thunder Nova 35 80 watt, so, yeah, and if you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe. And I'll be sure to make some more in the future very soon. Thanks for watching. Until next time.